One good sign comes from Chinese, uh, the Chinese Foreign Ministry, the Commerce Department, I should say, which indicated today that both the U.S. and China have smooth communications and good cooperation with each other, and that China is, quote, full of confidence that an agreement can be reached within 90 days. Here's Gao Feng. First of all, we will start with agricultural, energy, and auto products to immediately implement the details of the consensus reached between the two sides. Then, in the next 90 days, we will refer to a clear timetable and roadmap and conduct negotiation on the issues of intellectual property rights protection, technology cooperation, market access, and trade balance which are issues with mutual interests and demands. Another couple of wild cards in the markets. News of the arrest in Canada of the chief financial officer of China's huge Huawei telephone company. Her name is Meng Wanzhou, and she was arrested for violating sanctions against Iran and is expected to be extradited to the United States, China demanding Meng's immediate release. The other wild card is the falling price of oil and OPEC's inability to come to a decision to cut oil production. We are not ready to cut our production, but I support, in Iran supports, any decision made by OPEC members for managing the market. But Iran, uh, during the period of sanction, imposed sanction, uh, is not fair to reduce anything more. Some analysts have been predicting a cut of at least a million barrels a day. The president tweeting just 24 hours ago that he hopes OPEC holds on to oil production as it now is, that they don't cut production. He says the last thing the world wants to see is a rise in oil prices. Bill, back to you. Thank you, Doug. Good stuff there. Doug McHale, we're from the White House. A lot to chew about, uh, talk about you on this today. I mean, that, that arrest overnight in, in Canada is an extraordinary measure. Yeah. I mean, accusing the Chinese government, or this company anyway, of of uh, doing deals with Iran under the table, which tells you the Trump team in Argentina said we mean business. There's a lot of uncertainty out there, and that is what is uh, sparking fears in the marketplace. And those were not allowed to play out yesterday because the stock market was closed, of course, to honor uh, the late President George H.W. Bush. There was a national day of mourning, so the New York Stock Exchange was closed. Markets will reopen a short time from now, and a lot of selling is expected. Right now, Dow futures are off 430 points. That would indicate almost a 400-point drop on the Dow. Uh